L l listen, we're, we're already recording. We started it off. We're back. The boys are back. Let me, uh, let me turn my lights on. They're going to be we're happy to be bright because the power went out in my house, so they reset to the brightest setting. I was like a ghoul. Yeah, I've got my uh, ring light set up right now, as I showed you. Oh, my God. I feel That's like good. I'm way it's too close. Me. I don't... Hold on. I can fix this. Yeah. No, that's closer. You went the wrong way. No, you're doing good. You're doing, this is good. This is a good material. I like this. I'll do um, the entire podcast growl. like this. Yeah, no, that's good. I like that angle. Uh, Jit. What's up, buddy? Also, I want to go on the record as just saying that today we were delayed because of me. I was late. Yeah. By like, We've been delayed for weeks. By like 30 minutes, I was late. <laughs> I was, I very poorly judged time. And you know, I, I this is a, a big L for me. I'm taking the L here, okay? Um, As you should. Any respectable man would own up yeah. to his L's. As, yeah, yeah, I agree, Jit. Any respectable man would own up to his L's. Anyways, Jit, where have you? Because I, I I'm about to go on like the longest rant you've ever heard in your entire life of why my mental has oh, been in right. shambles. Um, oh no! But Jit, where have you? Let the folks know where you've been and, and what's uh, happened to you. As a lot of the folks have probably seen if they look in pets and pics, uh, my car is falling apart drastically, more so by the day. Mm -hmm. um, my desk fell apart. The wall that's beside me fell on it. Um, the reason my mic is lying right now on my desk is because that also snapped off and fell. Uh, what else? The washing and drying machine both exploded. Um, that's good. Yeah, no, basically, like the entire house is just slowly crumbling and falling apart. That's good. You seem to be struggling. That's great. Yeah, well, you got a job. You're making money. Yeah, and that also takes up far more time than I, any employment should. I hate that. Yeah, yeah. Um, that sounds about right. You know, for some reason, my friends get jobs <laughs> and they vanish and they go away, and then I just uh, spiral out of control. Because uh, it won't be that bad as long as things don't break anymore. I've got all duct tape on things. Listen, you're good for another couple months. This is actually insane. You're never gonna believe this. It turns out, so I didn't realize. So I've always like been a happy guy, right? Let me fucking fix my camera real quick. Let's. Yeah, you're you're a cheery fella. Yeah. So like I I'm generally speaking, my fucking camera stand for some reason has gone. Co it's just fucked now. It's like super loosey goosey. It wiggles like a motherfucker. Anyways, um, yeah. No. So it turns out. Actually, no. What I am is a vampire that sucks the joy out of specific people. And okay, when I am okay. when those people are removed from me, I fuck dude, this last week and a half, I've never done this before in my life. I woke up, I wake up, right? It's like 7 a.m. And I'm like, we're gonna re-roll. Today's not the day. And I will just oh, go to no. sleep for like 20 plus hours and wake up the next day. And I, like, this, I've this never that. done that. And the last like week has literally been, I wake up, I check to see if like the three people that have the power to lift me out of this fucking hole are available. <laughs> they never are. And then I just go back to sleep. It's over. Gonzo. Right. And uh, yeah, so it turns out shit like you are a, a keystone in my right. not shooting myself in the head. And you being gone, like, dude, I had, uh, have unreasonably pictured every way that I would kill myself in my house in the last, like, week. <laughs> where I'm just, like, laying down. I'm like, so, like, my house, for some reason, someone installed, like, um, like deck hooks where it's, like, they're, like, how do I explain them? They're, 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 like, rings, right? With, like, a screw yeah. on the top. And you just, I know. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Thank you. Um, I don't know what the fuck I call them deck screws. Deck screws are, like, just Completely super long different. screws. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what the... I have deck screws right here. I don't know what the fuck I said that. But yeah. You mind them. I figured it yeah, out. Yeah, so there's all over my house, and I'm like... I do got, like, 10 feet of rope. I could hang myself on this. <laughs> and then I'm just like, holy oh, no. shit. Like, why did I think that? What the fuck? Or I have a gun in my desk, like, next to my bed, and I'm like... I could just shoot myself. That is, what, like... <laughs> that would work. Cause for concern. And then it's like... Yeah. Well, no, because I, I, you know, if someone were to just send this to the cops, you would be on a fifty-one fifty, and you wouldn't be able to talk to us for fucking. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but anyways, I'll. But then I'll like, how your mental would be if you got incarcerated. 
Oh, well, no, I would just make whatever. friends with like the prisoners and be fine, right? No, no. A 50 yeah, you have a history. Of legitimately, friends, it's a 70, uh, 72 hour psych hold where you are in a cell by yourself. Yeah, I uh, don't. I, I Jeffrey Epstein my way out of that one. They take everything <laughs> away from you. Yeah, you're no. stuck in a cell. Yeah. And you get evaluated by psychs. And if you don't pass your like psych evaluation, you're in there for another 72 hours. No, I would pass for sure. I'm sick as hell. <laughs> You would simply pass away. Yeah, exactly. I yeah, I would Jeffrey Epstein myself. But no, like um, th these thoughts go away very quickly, right? I'm like, yeah, no, I'll just be sad instead. <laughs> but like last night, dude, I felt like uh, remember how I talked about when I ate that sandwich? How I had like a like a a god, like a fucking an alien esque figure like inhabit my body, oh, yeah. and like yeah. I just had an insatiable need to eat this sandwich. It's probably like brain worms or something. Yeah, dude, something like this that. morning. I was just laying in bed and I just had the, like, you know, how people get hypothermic. They like strip down and like walk on the snow. Oh, Dude, I like, I, I had to fight <laughs> the urge that. to go lay down in the snow. I was like, I bet it would be so warm and like a oh. cozy blanket in my head. I'm like, no, it would be cold as fuck. But there's like something in my soul. That's like, you need to get up, walk outside, go into the woods and lay down in the snow and burrow like to, a worm. You want me to, to, make you realize what this is yeah you need to move back to california no i saw that is. Yeah, no, it was no, there's no snow down there it, dylan is yeah, I how mean, would i burrow into the surprisingly woods. it's snowing outside right now in nice. southern california it's really nice. weird but uh yeah no dylan you are a very social creature and yeah. i feel like now oh. we're hitting that limit of you're not going outside at least like once a week and interacting with people and you're losing it listen some would say that when I had a job where I had to go outside every day and interact with like all of my coworkers who I really liked, that may have been the strongest my mental has ever been. Yeah. And then moving yeah, out here, forging it for now, where my only friends, like we'll, we'll talk more <laughs> off off pod about like what has like really been just crushing my fucking mental into like the dust. But let's just say sure. that um. With like, so there's like a hierarchy of people that I have to like once a week. One of these people has to trick me, or I'll just ask them and we do this into having like a one on one Discord conversation with them where I just hang out and socialize with them because it just recharges my batteries to the fucking max, right? Yeah. Instead, yeah. so it's like my the short list is like the two people on this call Nigel, Athel, quotes. May and Irma. Those are like, th th that's my top seven words. And it's like, I don't hate everyone else. They're super great. I like hanging out with them. But for whatever reason, these like seven people, if I just hang out in a Discord call one on one or like in a small, small group where I can be more intimate and have a conversation, like right. it just recharge. And I have not had that for the last like two and a half weeks. And I have been crumbling just like. I am the kind of person who, once I've gotten enough sleep, dude, I'm out of bed. We're gaming. We're fucking. We're 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 getting ready for the day. We're taking posy. Yeah, we're doing shit. This last, I can't answer this. This last week and a half, I would wake up and I would just be like, "Yeah, no, like tomorrow is the day for sure. We're just gonna re we're we're, we're gonna reroll this. This today is yeah. We're we're yeah. Today big L day. Today is an L yeah. day, and um." Yeah, so it's I'm just uh this podcast is, was basically like the last chance for you. No, no, well, yeah, yeah. Without this podcast, <laughs> yeah. I just kill myself. Um, no. That's so, um, so like, there's like I'm very like extroverted person. Like um, I had a conversation with, with someone recently where they talked about like the concept of like oh yeah like oh when we hang out in real life like I'm not always gonna be on right like there will be times where like. I need to like cool down, like maybe separate myself from the group and like just chill, right? Yeah. And I'm like, does. I'm like, I've never felt that experience in my fucking <laughs> life. I, anyone who's oh, ever yeah. hung out with me in real life just knows that I'm just on. Like, yeah, it's not a bit. I'm just like, cause, cause it's like, it's like a, you know how like it's like if you like tape but, like buttered toast to a cat and you drop it, like it just like rotates forever because they both yeah. always land on their feet or on it's the butter no, side no, up. I, yeah. I can't say that Ooh. I've ever had. A cat to drop butter toast on. Dylan I've done it all the time. Yeah, well, because like, if you drop We're butter toast, it lands butter side down. And if you drop a cat, it always lands on its feet. So if you tape them together, they just start to rotating and creating like it's like a perpetual motion machine. Well, I'm that's me here. when I'm in, like, in person with other people. Is like I just like. We're like draining energy to like be on, 
but we're immediately replenishing it, right? Just a never-ending cycle of fucking excitement. Um, but then I just, like, haven't had, like, uh, the people that need to be around me to keep me sane around, and I've just it fucking... I feel like a rusty robot, dude. Just... <laughs> so what you're saying is you've been missing your buttered toast the last two weeks. Yes, my buttered toast has been missing from my life, shit. Um, but... Well, like, you've been gone for, like, more than two weeks, but... Yeah. Like, I managed to, like, you know shoot up a little bit of heroin, you know, between then and now. <laughs> okay, buddy. But, oh my god, I did not realize <clears throat> how important some people are to my day-to-day -day operation. And the crazy thing is, it doesn't take a lot to, like, just perpetually keep me going, right? It, it yeah. is, like, literally as simple as, like, no, hold on. I'm going to take this. It's not even... You don't have to contribute. You just have to be in the call, and Dylan will rant to himself for an hour, and yes. that recharges his fucking... <laughs> yes. His you're, an, you're an audience that bounces off me. It's, no, you, we don't even have to say anything. I can be muted. Like, yes. It's like we're an amplifier. We, yeah. Everything goes in, just bounces back so yeah. much stronger for him. Exactly. Thank you. Yeah, you, you Austin completely understands me. Uh, yeah. He's also known me the longest, so that <laughs> makes the most sense. But... Oh my god, like Oh, I've never been this sad in my life. It's just <laughs> awful. I hate it. I don't like it. And my dog doesn't understand it. She just sits there. It's like normally she's like is used to going fucking outside and like doing shit in the day. I'm just laying in bed all day. And so what does she do? She just like stands on like her like four little legs and just looks at me. <laughs> and it's like Okay, the alarm went off. Like, when the alarm goes off, the food gets put in the bowl, and then I get walked. But he oh, is. He looks so sad right now. He is. Pose is humans broken. Yeah. And then she just looks at me. She's like, "Okay, so the alarm has gone off, and he threw his phone, and rolled over. That's not what usually happens when I get food. She'll just sit there." And God bless Posey. The loyalty on this dog is insane. She just won't leave the bed until I get out of bed. She's like, no, I guess. I guess it's day 38 of <laughs> laying in bed, doing nothing. Uh, I guess. Or, um, yeah, Posey's a real one. Yeah, Posey's definitely a real one. She's a little goober. I don't know if she understands human emotion. Um, but she's definitely, she's far more willing to, like, let me lay down and then she just like stands next to me and looks at me as opposed to like doing anything that excites a dog. Just like, I guess we're just couch day. It's like yesterday is posing. Normal. My dog's uh quite the goober. She's got like a gray beard too. It's very funny. Or like uh her whiskers are gray. Snout. Anyways, um, I don't know if that, I don't know if that was probably a good po podcasting material. That was great. <laughs> but um, all right, thanks for coming, folks. We'll see you in another three months. Yeah, yeah, another uh, six yeah. months. Um, <laughs> no, we just we blame the the excuse. It's like it's now it's season two. Yeah. It's, it's the new the new season. There was a yeah. break. In yeah, yeah, you, yeah. We had the you know we had the, some post or some you know pre production we had to do. It was slush that had to go down. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. Speaking of um season two or i guess uh, just seasons in general. just speaking of content creation is what i meant to say um yeah it has nothing to do with seasons yeah so um it turns <laughs> out yeah i fucking hate you um, <laughs> so it turns out yeah um you know like some people like when they get sad they're like so creative and they just like make art and like the, their best work is made when they're depressed that is not me not, not even not close one. to me <laughs> if i am not like I, again, I'm like a positive feedback machine where it's like that video that I made um, was entirely inspired by an interaction that I had with a friend recently that just like shot me to the fucking moon. And I was like, oh, we're making a video. We just cranked out a fucking video, uploaded it. People were like, oh, I forgot that you could make videos that were entertaining. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I did too. Yeah, huh. Turns out if I'm just not like firing on all happiness cylinders, like... I just fucking can't make anything. It's awful. I, I'm yeah. jealous of depressed people who 
are like and use their depression to make art because my god when i get sad i, I just do, do nothing i just sleep i just lay in bed i don't want to get out of bed and yeah it sucks yeah so I was what? that option yeah the world's falling apart around me oh no <laughs> <sighs> I yeah, sleep. Like, the wall won't get put back up. Based. I mean, I, I kind of wish I had that because I like I respond very well to that kind of stuff. Where it's like, if like the ceiling were collapsing, you know, I would be you know inclined to fix my ceiling. It would give me a purpose, yeah. something to do. Um, I I disagree with you on that. That fucking uh, cotton candy sat behind you for a little while, bud. Now, uh, to clarify <laughs> though, that cotton candy sat there because like it just had to be upstairs because they were working with it. Okay. Yeah, it right. just had to be next to his bed. It had yeah, to be right his pillow. The bed. only pl- there was literally oh, no other choice. So he- here's here's the solution, shit. I guess I could just drag it into the hallway so that as soon as I open my door, I now can't leave my room because there's fucking cotton candy in the hallway, <laughs> you dumb motherfucker. Put it in the basement. So then what? Like when they finally work on it, they just drag it back up and put it in my room. Motherfucker, that cotton candy was there for months. Yeah, exactly. They were, they were shit while. contractors. <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> Like, yeah, so it could have been somewhere else for months until they needed it. <laughs> Listen, let the record show that since I have moved down here, right, there has not been just a large clump of shit fucking... No, but didn't you flood, like, a month ago down there? <laughs> no, it was, first of all, shit, I, we haven't talked in a month, you fucking retard. Oh. <laughs> the last podcast, was you like... were flooding. No, it was, pl- it was like three. Po- it was like three podcasts ago, which is like four months ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we upload on a weekly schedule. I don't yeah. know what you mean. Absolutely, that last. I didn't even, didn't even make it into January before I was like, "No, I'm too sad. We're not doing this anymore." There was a little while there where it worked. Yeah, no. There's. Uh, turns out, I just I have to hang out with people in real life like twice or not, not even that i have to just, i need to have intimate conversations with my friends at least once a week or else i wither away like a fucking like uh, a mummy like when the air touches them and they just turn into dust that's me basically so okay um Good to know. yeah if you're listening to this and i named your name uh it's like may uh you, ba- you're why i'm depressed basically it's your fault this is a, specifically your fault um you could have stopped this but you abandoned me like um uh, a prom night dumpster baby. I, I used that expression recently. I was talking to a friend of mine, and I said, listen, all right, unfortunately, this friend is the most autistic person I know, um, which isn't me, surprisingly. But uh, I was like, listen, Jit abandoned me like a midnight dumpster baby. So um, I'm, I'm just going to need a little midnight more. or prom night? Prom night. You said midnight. Oh, well, you know, I don't well, know. I don't it was know. midnight on prom. Yeah, thank you. Exactly. I mean, uh, yeah. For some reason, I've always sung that song as Midnight Dumpster Baby, and it's Prom Night Dumpster Baby, but, you know, it's fine. Yeah, and then I was like, hey, man, I, like, Jit's gone, my, I, my mental is crumbling, I just need a little bit of help, and their response was like, nah. No, and I was like, no oh, way. F- oh, fuck. Ah, shit. That's uh, why you don't reach out to others. Yeah, no, exactly, literally that, right? Like <laughs> When you're at your lowest, you should be alone. Yeah, exactly, when you're at your lowest, if you reach out to somebody, they will then shatter your mental even more, so what you should do instead is just die. That's the only, like, yeah. correct solution. Jesus Christ. Um, Listen, Dylan, you have to make it 177 more days until mm-hmm. you get the maximum recharge. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll see how long the rope just stays untied <laughs> in my house. <laughs> You'll have to ride that maximum recharge for as long as physically yeah. possible afterwards um yeah so i un- actually though like getting shit on like that actually did inspire like it actually was better than just like being supported right because then do when i did shit what i reached out to you i was like you know what shit i fucking i'm crumbling i i went to my only other lifeline that like i feel like has the power to like imbue this into me and then uh, they were like no i don't know no I was like, well, uh, it's, if Jit doesn't say yes, I just, well, I guess I just kill myself. And luckily Jit was like, hey man, yeah, I guess I can. We'll pull, I guess we'll put a couple one, two minute rue in this and we'll, uh, we'll bust out a, a quick little pod. Yeah. Yeah. So like, listen, I said, I'm going to be around more now. Yeah. And then as long as things don't completely disastrously fall apart again, I will. Oh, exactly. Just jinx it. Just jinx it. Yeah. Well, no, look, my life. So yeah. I, I kind I would love to talk about this more off podcast. So it's, it's a little too personal for the pod. But like, um, so for example, like, Jit can behave in a way where if someone else behaves in that way, I would just think they hate me. And it's like, but like, I've had so much interaction and rapport with Jit that I don't feel that way at all. 
right? But if anyone else were to make these actions, I'd be like, oh, well, we're not friends and they hate me. And, uh, you know, but like, for some reason, you know, I've just known you long enough that, like, it doesn't, like, impact my mental, right? Good. Where it's like... Otherwise, it's <laughs> over. Oh, yeah, I'd be gone. To, like, yeah. so, for example, like, I texted you, like, five times, and you ignored all five texts, right? <laughs> yeah. Now, I, I want to clarify, <laughs> that didn't impact me at all. Like, that, like, that is, like, a JIT thing, and I totally understand that it's a JIT thing, and I don't take that personally, right? If I text anyone else five times to hang out and they ignore me all five times, I'm shooting myself in the fucking head, right? That's how that ends. But it's shit, so now, just like, I'm fine. I will say, not that it, like, fixes anything. Mm -hmm. The last two uh, were because I had my phone uh, service off by accident. Why? How is that even possible? <laughs> Good question. My boss texted me to say he was going to be like two hours late to a meeting at a plant. Yeah. And so I show up to the plant, and I'm just like, where the fuck's this guy? I text them. I text everyone. No answers. Three hours later, they show up, and they're like, we texted you. What do you mean? And I figured out, yeah, my phone just wasn't working. Yeah, so I'm just going to see this. There's a little setting. You see that little green light? Yeah. That's the cellular thing. I've absolutely clicked that off before and not realized it for like three weeks. And be like, why the fuck is no one ever calling or texting me anymore? Yeah. <laughs> all that moment i clicked it back on i had like 18 texts yeah. instantly just flooded and i'm like oh yeah okay yeah but the other times you know that's just you know don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah speaking of uh so recently i just started i've started why, am I, why is my bald ass head so shiny what the fuck is going on here i hate this i hate that um but yeah um i get oh, you can really see the dent in my forehead right now Nice too. I'm sure I have a. There's probably a dent somewhere in my. I've got like um like caveman like brain indent on my forehead. <laughs> oh, that's from a nail sticking out of a piece of wood. No, why are you fucking headbutting nails? I I fell and there was sticking out of a fence and I like landed on it. Nice. And yeah. I've just got wrinkles on my forehead. That's my biggest. <laughs> yeah, my forehead is like disgustingly smooth. I don't know why. Like, I don't know why. I hate it. Is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's just such a smooth brain. Yeah, my my yeah, you know, the brain is so is smooth that it like fucking <laughs> it goes out. like my brain is like swelling in my head, so it's pressing against my the it's skin of my forehead to stretch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. There's no skull anymore. It's just skin on brain. Yeah, yeah. The skull is just completely deteriorated. <laughs> oh my god, I have completely lost my train of thought, but it didn't matter because. The the pod, who fucking this podcast sucks and I have no idea why the fuck everyone wants to listen to it. That's what it was. Okay, so there are like you, you ever like take like a meta moment where you like step outside of yourself and like view your life and you're like, this is not normal. That's called disassociating, Dylan. Is it? <laughs> okay, so yeah, I do it all the time, buddy. Yeah, I, I do it. I do it constantly. Moment. So to clarify, what I'm talking about is like um, so. God, it's so weird to explain. So, like, I get, I would, uh, just if I had to guess, like, 200 Discord messages a day from just, like, various sources, right? Every day when I wake up, I will have, like, 15 fucking messages on Discord from just random people. And, like, I don't know, like, recently I just thought, I was like, this is not normal. Like, most people do not wake up to, like, fucking this many messages and I still want to shoot myself in the face. Like, this is, I don't know how that works. So, someone break that down for me. Listen, uh, just imagine how much worse it would be if you woke up with no messages a day. I don't know. I don't know how that would be. Nope. Cool. Stop imagining. There's a gun too close to you. <laughs> ah, shucks. <laughs> it really is. So, yeah, I. I always think about you like um, Posey to just fucking disarm him. No, Posey would never do. Posey would. Posey is such a teammate. Posey would help me load the bullets in. She would like like use her little dog mount to pick up each bullet. I'm like, okay, buddy, this is just what you want. Okay, this is what we're doing. It's like, thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Yeah, and I, I would think about like, um, man, it would suck to get shot at, which wouldn't be cool. Yeah. Oh, did you see what happened in St. Louis? Uh -huh. uh, Monday? Oh, the homeless guy that just got shot? Yeah. Yeah. He just got brained. It's, it's, it's just an America moment. What do you mean? 
Jesus Christ, I was not expecting that. The, the, that video is so fucking weird for so many reasons, actually. So, like, one, there's someone recording it who, like, made zero effort to save this homeless man's life. Like... If I'm there, I'm the I'm getting shot because I'm retarded and I'm like I was gonna say yeah let's let's hear how you die and, yeah like because I like I don't like we both there actually it's just there's two people that die in that scenario but at least I made an effort right because it's like the dude is like doing a fucking unturned reload where it's like he has to put every he's putting bullets into the magazine yeah. right yeah. like there is more than enough time to like punch a tree several times get wood blocks put a crafting table make <laughs> sticks make a fucking wooden sword and like ooh, 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 take him down right the dude is just like recording like oh my god i think he's gonna fucking cap this homeless dude oh my god <laughs> holy shit oh my god oh my god he fucking owned him dude he's fucking owned oh shit he fucking just pwned this homeless guy and it's like what the fuck is wrong with you i think anyone no. that's just recording that has to fucking be charged at some like to some extent, I, I, right? I don't know about that. Well, no, because there's the the argument or like the kids that Where's the, dude, the kids oh, that God. filmed the dude yeah, drowning the and instead of like trying. To I think that's him. a little bit of a different situation. No, uh, I mean not uh, really. If, 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 technically, if you can see the guy, he's the gun's not loaded because you're watching him fucking load it, and you have enough time to pull your phone out and start recording <laughs> rather than just like, hey, don't fucking do that. Yeah, think about how long yeah, that guy right was Austin. sitting there with his gun out before the guy was like, I should record this. I should record this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. From um, what I read and heard about it was the guy recording was like, yeah, no, I heard a few shots pop up outside, so I pulled my phone out, and then there was just this man standing there loading no, his they, gun. Uh, apparently they were they had like gone to an altercation at the like gas station that they were at but yeah. it was just like no not anything gun related and then dude pulled a gun and started fucking putting it together oh. basically he found enough parts and was building <laughs> it yeah. 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 <laughs> he took out his crafting table and just started putting yeah, exactly, yeah. they belong. listen I stand by this is why everyone should have a gun All right, you want know solves this problem 38 other people all just firing crossfire hitting each other as they gun this man down <laughs> that's the yeah, only way this ends guys well with guns. <laughs> Dude, I love watching cop videos where it's like 38 cops shooting at somebody and like more like the cops all just shoot each other. Oh, you see yeah. the the like, video that dumb. came out at the end of last year of the like dude that was hiding under the bed in the trailer? Yes. And then the fucking lady cop yes. goes and runs behind where yes. the bed in that trailer is like not the best move by her. It's definitely yeah. a like fucking police officer moment. Or did you see the fucking uh, teacher that beat the shit out of that student? No, I saw a student that beat the shit out of a teacher. I don't know. It was a, I don't know. The a kid was like mouthing off to some teacher and he just like. Giga Chad. Giga Chad. Like, I think that it, this is, so I think that parents sitting their kids is very cringe. However, I think that people that are not your parents beating the fuck out of you when you act a fool <laughs> is like the best thing for society. Like there are so many kids that got uppity to the teacher back when I was in high school where it's like, no, you should have punched that kid in the face as hard as you could and been given a medal for doing it. Yeah. That's the so real cool. life lesson of fuck around and find out. Yeah. Like all of that is so foreign to me from like all of my school experiences. Not a single student ever spoke back. We with get it. Canada. Like, dude, <laughs> not even that, but like, I've heard this from like other high schools around Canada. It's just, I was like, Oh, I thought that was just like a TV thing. I didn't know. That dude, really no, happened. there are some yeah, people just, that like, have no they got behavioral issues their parents at home are dickheads and like they lash out at school and they're mean to like poor teachers yep yeah it's just especially like, now with the whole fucking andrew tate thing apparently that is just exacerbated yeah. the whole thing what's up fam? Like, i'm bottom g sigma yeah and i just sent me this fucking <laughs> video talking about what's like a deep fake of andrew tate talking about being the bottom g in prison and it's just like <laughs> it was so funny like oh god i i Okay, here's a meta conversation. This this okay. one blew my mind. I actually haven't even like told Nigel this yet, which is funny. Um, so hopefully they don't watch the podcast because I, I want to actually have this conversation with them. I was blown. Away. So obviously I have like a pretty deep like interpersonal relationship with Nigel, right? Sure. Where I know them better than most people, and like we interact a lot and shit. I was talking to someone else, and they basically were like, you know, like, like what is Nigel chill? Like, are they cool? And I'm like, what? Like. Huh? Like, what? I, what do you mean? Are they cool? Like, they're the fucking coolest. Like, they're hilarious. Like, they like if they fucking spoke on mic, they would be like the coolest person. Like, they would 100% mesh with everyone. And then I realized, like, oh yeah, like 
no, like Nigel doesn't hang out with anyone or interact with anyone outside of like their clique, right? So no one actually has any understanding of Nigel's personality. And I was yeah. like, oh yeah, like to most people, Nigel is just like the person that doesn't talk. And I'm like, no, dude, they're sick as fuck. It just blew, blew my mind. Like how you can know someone on like an interpersonal level and think they're sick as fuck and then someone else just doesn't know them at all. It's like, would ask you like such a weird question of like, are they whatever? It'd be like, um, like if someone was like, like is Austin gay and retarded? And I'd be like, of course, absolutely. Like what the fuck? Of course. <laughs> also, why does camera go off? Yeah, I just noticed that. I was counting how many DMs I got from Nigel Total, mm -hmm. and it's sixteen. That's insane to me. It, to, it's like fifty thousand for me. Yeah, that is the most me and Nigel have ever spoken. Yeah, uh, like not in a group setting. Yeah, okay. and I think most of those were in group settings where I just was like, "Hey, do this for a bit." Yeah. And she said, okay. okay. Yeah. Welcome back. You missed my sick bit where I called you gay and retarded. Thank you. It was um, really good. It was a sick bit. The dude. delivery was oh, spot on. That. Yeah. Um, but no, like, I don't know. It, it's so like, obviously I know most people, I would say, on a far more intimate level than everyone else knows them, if that makes sense. Where it's yeah. like, it's like I've been thing since high school where it's like I there's like me and there's like a spider web connecting off of me that interconnects everyone else. But like I'm like too retarded to realize that where it's like, oh, I really like X person. But just because I like X person does not mean that X person likes Y person, even though I really like Y person. It drives me at the fucking wall. I'm like, listen, you're both my fucking friends. You're going to like each other. You're going to kiss. OK, you're going to fucking kiss right now. I want you to kiss. Oh, it just drives me insane. Um, so yeah, managing and it's like, I don't know, having to like make hard choices with your friends is also fucking annoying where it's like, you know, okay, I want to hang out with these two people, but they fucking hate each other. So now I have to like divvy up two separate times to hang out with these fucking people. I just, look, I want my friends need to kiss more. Okay. You're going to kiss and you're going to like each other. Listen, it's easier if you just vanish every couple of months like I do. Yeah, no, it's, it's so sick. <laughs> I feel like being jit is so much like less stressful. <laughs> <laughs> like, you just leave. Who gives a fuck, dude? Fuck them. Like, <laughs> right. you make it seem significantly more casual. But yeah, it is. Yeah. Fuck you. It is it's so casual. casual. You just leave. <laughs> I, I feel like a fucking movie character. You make people care, and then you leave. <laughs> oh, dry. A uh, fucking. I. Like, I don't know, dude. Like. People are like, oh my god, I miss Jit. And it's like, no, you don't understand, okay? You hung out with Jit fucking one time every three months. I hung out with Jit three times every hour, okay? And now he's gone, okay? <laughs> you don't and understand. The, and the, the fucking person that I'm trying to use to fill that void is the most autistic person on this planet, okay? <laughs> this is not... Go Jit needs to come back. It's just, oh. I'm in shambles about you, Jit. Because it's like, uh, I don't hang out with my friend Neps anymore. My friend Dean's gone. Like, they're all just... They've all abandoned me. Austin just fucking is gone. There's just no one left. I'm just alone well, all the I time. Come back. Okay, to don't be fair, I'm I, just, I don't play WoW. Well. Yeah, it's awful. It's fucking, all you fucking yeah, do. It sucks penis balls, dude. I hate it. I fucking... Yeah, stop playing WoW. Wait until Psalm 2 comes I'm out. Good. And we can all play WoW together. You you guys wanted me to try, and I tried it, and I fucking hated it. Yeah, you, you were crazy. Did not. You, you put someone on follow, and you walked away. Yeah, what? No, so this is... I'm, <laughs> listen, no, fuck you. You were going through some shit in real life with that dumb bitch, and fucking it, it distracted you from your fucking rotation. Yeah, I, you yeah. couldn't do a basic rotation at yeah. five. Yeah, you, you suck, basically. I hate you. I don't hate right, you. Bye. No, this is wrong. Incorrect. I love you. I need you forever. <laughs> I don't know. I just, um, the only joy that I find in life now is, um, every like two days, I'll have a quick, like two hour conversation with someone that is like important to me. And that's good. Dude, do you know how fucked shit was? Listen, this is how I knew my shit was fucked. All right. Let's hear it. I was so excited to raid. I was like, please, I just want it to be raid time. I just need to be around people. I, I'm so... I just, That's desperate, buddy. That's yeah. desperate. I, I had that thought, and I was like, oh, no, this is not good. <laughs> this is bad. When, I, when Raid is the highlight of my week, shit has gone fucking up sh fucking bad yeah. shit creek. Not good Raid creek. Raid should be your week's low. Yeah, no, that's Ideally. what it used to be. It used to, so it, it used to be that Raid was like... um. 
like okay it's like something that i have to do to like maintain these interpersonal relationships and like it's like it's like it's like weekly maintenance right it's like i hang yeah. out with everyone we remind each other that we exist and we don't hate each other and like from there i springboard my week right to like who do i want to interact with uh and instead this it was like um this is the only interaction i've gotten in the last seven days hooray yippee yeah that was oh that's not good Raid was a good time of like, damn, I can't wait for those three hours to be over so I can go back to playing games I want. With yes, exact one hundred percent. That's Raid is like, how it's like doing the dishes, right? Where yeah. it's like, yeah, doing the dishes sucks, but if you don't do the fucking dishes, you live in like a shithole. <laughs> so like, do the fucking dishes, right? I know that makes sense to anyone listening. Like th that's how I've always viewed Raid. V to Raid is like a. It's a chore that you have to do in order to, like, live a peaceful life of, like, yeah, yeah, all of your friends. You need a reason to remember why your friends are sick as fuck and you like hanging out with them. And then, like, one of them will say something funny in a raid and you're like, all right, I'll allow it. This week is, is your week, you know, Timmy. Like, I, I've picked you for, like, Thursday. Thursday will be our, our day. We will hang out. We will do things. And then uh, instead it's like, uh, I'm just hungry all the time. And, uh sad so i don't know Listen, <sighs> like a better game to raid in like go back to classic classic era i'll How? come back i can't believe you would say that. like i wrath raiding is like just so much more fun and engaging wrath is such a low tier expansion to me yeah but you're just you're a fucking retard this is my <laughs> only explanation <laughs> i know i am <laughs> even tbc was rough for me but i stuck it in there for you guys yeah, guys, I totally know what you guys are talking about. Now, for the record, you left us in the West SC, you came back for a bit of BT, and then you left us again in Sunwell, <laughs> just for the record of sticking it out. I just want that to be on the record. Okay. Uh, first of all, you I stuck was it out in the same in way. SSC. No, you weren't! <laughs> Not two weeks. Attendance records. This is just you're fucking so full of shit. And Sunwell, you replaced me. Dude, no, yeah, that's you true. You said, "Hey, we have too many holy priests. You want to take okay, a break?" And no, I said, "So what actually right. happened? Shit was like I like saw." Like, so whenever, how do I, this is another meta thing. When I look at people, right, I don't look at, like, I don't see JIT, right? I see JIT and, like, 47 different status bars, right? And I could <laughs> see the, like, play WoW more, and then I shoot myself, sta like, like status bar at, like, 99%. <laughs> so it was like, okay, you can go ahead and sit, man. Because it's like, yeah, if I if you kept raiding, you would have shot yourself in the fucking head. And so I... That's a good chance of that. Yeah, so I I saw that you were just like miserable, so I I made I made some money moves, you know. But yeah, you can you can sit. Don't worry, buddy. Yeah, and everyone's like, "Why are you sitting, shit?" And it's like, because I'm your friend, I'm not gonna like immediately be like, "Yeah, she wants to kill himself." So like, no, it's just like, oh no, man, like, yeah, I, I I lie so much to people about like the reasons why people aren't around, like a cover for them. I should say, I just a lie, but yeah. it's like, I don't know, um, I like that. I just lie blatantly to everybody. Yeah, I just I lie know. to them. Well, no, it's like, because like, someone's like, oh, like, Timmy's like, yeah, I'm really sad, so I don't want to come to Raid. And they'll be like, oh, like, why isn't Timmy here? And I'll be like, oh, I sad him. This week he sucks. And that yeah. way everyone is like, wow, Dylan's an asshole. I'm going to go be nice to Timmy because Dylan's such a dickhead to him, right? And it's like, no, like, I'm just fucking manipulating you into being nice to Timmy because Timmy needs you to be nice to him. It's like, I'm playing fucking 500D chess with, like, social shit right now, you dumb motherfucker. <laughs> And, and that that's like probably the most autistic thing that I do, but like it fucking pans <laughs> out every time. I mean, if it works, it works, right? Exactly. Um, I don't know. I, I've I, I I've also gotten way better at like um like not talking about people's shit very often. Where it's like uh, I'm like I'm way better at just like making up a story of like ah oh, no I sat him he sucked. As opposed to like, yeah, I know his wife is cheating on him. He's, his life is falling apart. Um, or just like leaving it open in a way that makes them question. Yeah. And you can't just be like, no, there's some things happening that you don't Dude, know. Dude, that, that, this is another. <laughs> I fucking hate when I people. I do it all the time. Um, in regards to Nigel specific, people will ask me super deep personal questions about Nigel. And it's okay, like. That that i feel like that's like if people are asking you personal questions then they're in the wrong i i thought it was more of like a hey where is nigel and you'd be like oh there's some shit going on no yeah no no no, no, no. yeah yeah i i fucking hate you. i never i never do i hate you like that 
my, my usual response is like, either, someone will ask me a question that I know the answer to, and it's like, I'll just be like, no, like, I'm not going to tell you that. Like, yeah. no. Like, do you know how, like, people don't understand the, like, billions of messages I have exchanged with Nigel and the amount of, like, how do I explain this? Hard work that has gone <laughs> into our friendship, okay? Like, with, with, with Jid or Austin, right? Our friendship, we just bounce back and forth. With Nigel and I's friendship, dude, I'm, like, deep in the fucking coal mines. Like, just mining <laughs> Nigel or right? Down there with a wooden pick yeah, trying to mine some up. fucking city. just bashing out this same, like, busting my ass off. And it's like, yeah. It, and, and part of, like, this fucking friendship is that, like, Nigel's, like, a deeply shy personal person who never... Hi, Posey. Who never wants to see a little tail wagon when I look at her. Hey, Posey. Um, who, like, doesn't share stuff with people. And it's like, yeah, just because I know these things... And people get mad when I don't fucking share them. And it drives me to the wall. It's like, no, like, I have busted my ass off to farm <laughs> Nigel rep. I'm not going to throw it in the fucking dumpster, you dumb mother... Like, the only things that I talk about about Nigel are, like, usually things that are, like, publicly available information. Yeah. Where it's like, like, oh, where does Nigel live? And it's like, oh, like, I, all that I'll say is, like, they live on the East Coast. Because they say they live on the East Coast. Like, no, like, what city? It's like, I'm not fucking telling you that. <laughs> well, what's their postal code? Yeah, exactly. And, and, like, and it's like, <laughs> like, because people know that I know these things. And they will just hound me. And they'll be like, come on, it's not a big deal. Like, you know, just say where they live. And it's like, no. Like, stop it. Like, I, <laughs> one, peer pressure just doesn't work on me. Like, I'm too autistic. It just doesn't work. It's never worked on me. It never will. You can't gaslight me into, like, betraying Nigel's trust. It's just never going to work. And people still try it all the time. And it blows my mind. Or, like, another thing that triggers the fuck out of me is the... So, like, obviously, I've spent a lot of time digging about Nigel. Because, like, for the last, like, two and a half fucking years, I've been trying to piece together the fucking mystery, right? Like, I'll start this whiteboard. There's a big question mark with the word Nigel or another one. And there's, like, fucking strings, strings. attached to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, like... The amount of people that will fold and give, like, very personal information about Nigel away with no prying whatsoever triggers the fuck out of me sometimes. Because it's like... <laughs> Like, motherfucker, I didn't apply any amount of pressure to you. I asked a simple yeah. question, and then you overshared. You gave way more information than I know Nigel is comfortable with you sharing to me. And it's like, other people will ask me simple stuff of like, you know, like, oh, like, you know, fucking, just Nigel like hamburgers? And it's like, they have not given me express consent to identify whether or not they're a hamburger fan. I can't tell you what comments. Yeah. And they then like. people will like press me for it. And I just don't like buckle at all. And that's over like, just Nigel like hamburgers. And someone will drop the most personal shit about Nigel. And I, I'm Nigel. Like, I talked about this stuff. It's just very funny. Cause like, I don't know. My, my favorite conversations with Nigel are always like, D like super autistic meta conversations that you I would just never have to have with Jit because Jit and I just have normal conversations but like having those com all, those conversations are all. my fucking favorite they're so they're so fun to like break down the meta of like a, f a friendship and at the end just be like I love you buddy like you know you're you're a good friend of mine and I love you and then like I don't know there's something about that uh, just it, it, it tickles my fancy, you know? I fucking... It feels good inside to, like, break down those those conversations. But you can only have those conversations with someone that is autistic enough to, like, have that meta conversation. I don't know how to... Like, there's no good example I can give. But, like... Yeah, just tell us what you guys were talking about last. Exactly, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, like, I, an example would be, like... Read verbatim. <laughs> Jit and I, like... I, it would be, like... um I don't know. Like, we don't have to have these conversations because, like, I understand Jit already. Where it's like, I know that Jit doesn't hate me when he fucking ignores me, right? Like, I know that he's still, like, me and Jit are still friends. We love each other. You know? Yes, I do. Like, absolutely. It's just, yeah. Yeah, like, that's just how Jit and I, like, navigate. So, but it's then. Like, well, we got to tell you something. Uh oh. Uh, <laughs> Listen, oh, for example of that, one of my other, like, really close friends from, like, childhood, yeah. when I went to college, uh, we simply didn't speak for, like, a year and a half. Yeah. Like just and then it was just like yeah no I don't hate you what the fuck yeah then everything was normal again that's well, just how it is yeah but so that's it 
I, I don't mean, I mean like you, like you actively ignore me, right? So that we're not talking. <laughs> it's like I send you 10 messages and you respond to none of them. To zero of them, okay? There's a big difference between like Austin and I not talking for six months and coming back and being friends and me messaging you 11 times and you just not responding, okay? So if we could just not equate those two things as if they're even remotely similar. It's the same thing I already talked about. Oh, oh, just... <laughs> yeah, no, like me and my friend, we just don't talk for six months. Versus, yeah, me and my friend, he tries to talk to me for six months, and I just ignore him every time. <laughs> he regularly reaches out. I just, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so like that stuff like that happens. But like for whatever reason, between you and I, like that just doesn't bother me at all. I'm like totally fine with it. But it's also like we have like hundreds of hours of private interpersonal interactions. To like yeah. extract from uh whereas like that is not the case for other people and it like drives me f insane i fucking like spiral i get like like in my own head with interactions where i'm like they hate me like they clearly hate me <laughs> like that's the only answer like no because like no reasonable person would react this way and like not hate me but then jit does the same thing and i'm like no jit loves me <laughs> me and jit are great yeah. friends i love jit jit loves me everything's fine i don't know that's so Good. fucking funny, Drew. You tried to fucking equate <laughs> those two things. I fucking... Uh, that was good. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to the only person that is like, I'm, I'm like, that does a similar thing that I don't think hates me is like May, where it's like, I will send May 47 unresponded to texts and memes, <laughs> but like, that's just the dynamic. I, like when I'm sending these memes, I have no expectation that May looks at them, that May yeah. is going to respond to them, uh, and then just occasionally May will send me something funny later. You know, um, May is definitely on my list of people that I would. Th there are some people that you wish you were close to, right? That you don't really interact with. They're like they're a cool guy. You know, I would like to hang out with them more, but they're just, they just they just not gonna happen because like they're retarded and have like too good of a career, right? Yeah. You know. Where so like quotes for example, I would love to hang out with quotes more. Quotes doesn't have time for friends. It's just not in his repertoire. Like he, he can't. <laughs> it's just not allowed. He will pencil you in at some point. Exa exactly. And like I'm fine with that, right? Like I, I accept that. Like I will hang out with quotes every three weeks, and I will cherish those moments. Or it's like with May, right? You know, I will hang out with May once every two and a half months, and you know it'll be a good time. I would like to hang out with them more, but no. <laughs> no, that's no, too bad. it's just not gonna happen. No. Listen, now that the podcast is back on a weekly schedule, no, it's almost <laughs> like hanging out with her every week. It is. Um, maybe. Yeah, I'm curious to see how uh, how this podcast is gonna be received when the first minute I'm just talking about like, yeah, I'm gonna shoot myself in the head. <laughs> uh, so, God, what's gonna happen to it is if people are gonna. I don't listen. I don't need you to reach out to me, okay? I'm having my own fucking... <laughs> I, I'm having my own spiral. Like, so, that like, they're listening? It, yeah, so if you're, like, because they probably already messaged me thinking this is going to help, right? But yeah. what's actually happened... I'm in an airplane, right? And I'm spiraling downwards, and what you've done is you've hit, you've reached up on the intercom, and you're like, hey, man, hope you're doing okay. It's like, dude, I just got to figure <laughs> out how to fucking make the plane not hit the ground right now. Like... You know, and, and I've got like two levers and like it's Jit and Nigel and one of those two levers, th that that is the lever that will pull me out of this. And it was Jit this time and it's probably never going to be Nigel, but a, one day it might be or I'll shoot myself. Um, but yeah, no. yeah, I just, the, I know for a fact anyone who would have messaged you would have done so. Uh, probably 30 minutes ago. Exactly. Like 15 yeah. minutes into the phone. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's too late. Like, they've already reached out to me. And, like, I yeah. appreciate the message, mind you. I appreciate the sentiment. But no, they okay, just have on. to... Uh, what's up? So, you, what you gotta do, if anyone messages you, just send them this little bit of the podcast back and be like, this is my response. You don't say yeah, anything. Clip it. <laughs> no, because... No, the podcast, like, this is my response to what you just sent me. No, because they'll just watch this far in and feel like a retard when uh, they do this part. Because like, listen, I, I appreciate the sentiment, right? But it's just like, again, this is a spiral that I have to use Jit to pull myself out of. All right, and there's there's no one else can save me. This is a this is a, a me and and Jit trying to prevent the plane from just 
plowing into fucking dirt. And Jit's back for one week, okay? I will not let anyone else be fooled by this, okay? I will not let myself be Weekly fooled by episodes. this. Jit will not be back next week. There will not be a podcast next week. Anyone who thinks there will be a podcast next week is a fucking idiot, okay? I'll be uploading my own podcast if Dylan refuses to do one with me. Yeah, I thought about doing a solo podcast, but it's like... Who the fuck would listen to me just schizo rant for... 60 minutes by myself. No, no idea. That's the majority of this podcast. The only difference yeah. is you have me and Jet going, uh huh, every couple of minutes. Yeah, yeah. And I need that, you know? <laughs> just put that on so, a loop track. You have no idea how close I was to just like last night recording my own podcast and making it. <laughs> just <laughs> and then posting it in the Discord just solo. Just acting <laughs> like, you know, Jill hasn't reached out in a while. I don't know how he's doing. Uh, but we're here today with Casper. <laughs> I would have killed. Oh, if, if, you had, if, you had, if you had, if you had, I this now, how, how, <laughs> oh, why I am would. I getting dragged into this? Uh, like that, because there, it'd but, be such so, a good bit. If, no, if you had done that, right? You, if you upload that, everyone was going to be so confused when it's six thirty. I haven't logged on. Everyone start calling my phone, but it's not going to matter because I already <laughs> shot myself in my room. I'm dead. I'm not alive anymore. Okay. <laughs> and they're all confused. Uh, I just have to log on to my paladin and tank the fucking boss. That was a good bit, though. It would have been hilarious. It would have been so funny. <laughs> But it like yeah, so like people also don't seem to realize that like I am a firm believer in the bit, right? And I am more that like my feelings can get hurt and I can like actually be bothered by something while also realizing like God damn it, that was fucking hilarious. That was such a good bit, dude. That's so fucking funny. Like that would have been a great bit. I would have been un I would I would have killed myself, but <laughs> as the bullet penetrated the roof of my mouth and reached my brain, I'd have been like, that was a fucking that was a good bit, dude. That was pretty fucking funny. So my dog is just laying on the stairs now looking at me. Uh, my, my dog is so funny, dude. I just wish that she didn't have so much fucking hair. It, oh my god. Yeah. My dog like pe like chips her fucking fingernails. Is that bad? What do you mean? Like, like the little on the concrete? No, no. She'll like chew her fingernail, and there will just be like a fingernail that I'll find. And I'm like, are you yeah, supposed to do normal. that? Okay. That's what I don't dogs think do. That's normal. It's normal if you don't like clip their own nails with them. That's fair. I I should probably do that. Yeah, or like take them on walks on concrete. Yeah, what I do, I just oh. play. I play fetch with Mac on the concrete out back, and I bet yeah, like piles snow, them down. Yeah, snow yeah. probably boxes that a bit. Yeah, makes way more sense. It's just been recently. It's been like the last like month or two, and it's like been snowy. So yeah, that'll do it. Uh, yeah. That's how I feel. That sound. Yeah. Also, I was gonna say too before uh, before you went into your little tirade about wanting to kill yourself yeah continue i was gonna make a comment <laughs> like watch this the first thing dylan's gonna say is you know he's been slitting his wrists le lately and then you said oh <laughs> i've been looking for where to tie a noose and i was like i'm gonna hold off for now oh <laughs> so, uh, i just wait until he clears the air yeah it's easy dude this is listen ah <sighs> minnesota was uh is a cool place but a lack of people is just yeah. the biggest issue. Um, what I said earlier. I'll kill you, Austin. I'll fucking rip your head off. It'll like a <laughs> Lego win the lottery. You know what? I'm going to tell you right now, you are allowed to, because that would mean you would have to be back in Southern California. And by the time you got to me, you'd be perfectly fine. Well, that's fair. You wouldn't be mad anymore. <laughs> this is yeah. all, this is true. I don't like. I'll, I'll drive you down. Don't worry. Just, just the flight or yeah, just the drive down, whatever he'd be, he'd be healed. I should have started every podcast with this. Like, sure. write the name, like, you know, this is... How close can I get? It's like, fucking this podcast. What what number is this? Uh, it's season I two, episode that. one. Season two, episode one. Um, like it's a good new year. New tax season. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I think. May is, like... How do I explain this? You know, like, uh, if you, like, like uh, you leave a child in the woods with the wolves, he becomes, like, a wolf boy? following so far yeah i feel like if we like in a world where may just had to hang out with jit and i and like play shooters and like play brs all day i feel like we would corrupt may in like a week like it, it would not take long i feel like in like one week may would be talking about like do that pussy fart though and like just <laughs> the most retarded shit um 
I could be wrong, but I really feel like we could like break May. I would love to play shooters with May. I feel like that would be like some of the best content is like me, Jit, and May playing like trios and fucking through people and just like I want to play shooters of May. I think is what's happening. Is what I'm yeah, realizing I'm right now. Picking up on that little undertone. <laughs> yeah. The subtle hints. Very yeah. subtle. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I don't know. May, when you've reached this part of the podcast, just reach out to any of uh, either me, um, and just tell us how much you want to play games with us. Yeah, man, I know where you live. So if you play shooters you without shit and don't invite me, I will drive to your house and kill myself in your basement. <laughs> Jesus. Then I will haunt you forever. I feel like that'd be the funniest. Like that's what I would do if someone like like pissed me off. I would just drive to my house and kill myself in their house. <laughs> that's a good bit. That's not a good really bit. Cool. What the fuck? Really? It's, it's the so, anti-hero play. It'd be so funny, dude. <laughs> just like drive to their favorite place and shoot yourself while they're there and just ruin their favorite place. <laughs> that's, this is just a Nick's words and bit. Oh, uh, uh, is it? Yeah, the fucking who farted joke where he screams at and then shoots himself and everybody's like, fuck, like, who farted? I mean, that's similar. I, uh, mine is it's more about... Thing. No, mine is more about psychologically ruining someone's favorite place to be. Yeah. But you would still... I think no matter the the context, shooting yourself in front of someone is going to traumatize them, bud. Yeah, no, but I'm not like... I'm not trying to traumatize them, different. right? I'm trying to ruin their favorite place also, right? Like I could shoot myself like like live like like email them a video of me shooting myself. That would probably traumatize them. But if I drive to like their favorite place to eat while they're eating think, there before their yeah. food is served and I blow my brains out, they can never ever ever eat at Wendy's again. Especially the longer it takes you to get to that location. The further it away yeah. it is from where you are, the more they're going to like think about it in the future be like, "Wow." He drove 3,000 miles to shoot himself <laughs> at my Wendy's. Yeah, you know how, like, some women, like, will, like, <clears throat> make weddings about them? And so it's not their wedding? It's clearly about the man, right? No, no, no. I mean, like, uh, like, like there'll be a bride and a groom, and there'll just be some cunty bridesmaid who's, like... Uh, some oh, some yeah. dumb bitch that, that showed up in white. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. I, I wish them bitches would shoot themselves at weddings more, because it would get their point across <laughs> way, but it'd be so funny, <laughs> dude. Just, like... Like that, because that's the ultimate way to like make the wedding about you, right? It's like, yeah. I do, bam! And it's like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Tina shot herself. It's like, yeah, I know your wedding is about Tina now. <laughs> I know you thought your wedding was about you. It's about Tina now. How do you even proceed from that? Like, I, what the fuck? You have to cancel well, the wedding. So, right? it, no, no, because she's a cunt. All right. You know this woman's oh, a bitch. You can't right? let her win. You fucking, you persevere. Her brains. And skull fragments are all over your face, and you still say I do, and you kiss your husband right there, and you get married. No one even mentions it, all right? You fucking, you just, you fucking had the reception. No one even cleans it up, all right? Fuck Tina, all right? Fuck dumb bitch. I wish you guys. I'm never going to a wedding with you. What? Why? I'll just do a smiley face. <laughs> Let me see if I can get a picture of Posey. Like, you'll just nudge me and be like, "Hey, watch this. This is a good bit." It would be, it'd be a good bit. First of all, fuck you. It would be a hilarious bit. It actually wouldn't. It would be traumatize everyone. No one would think it was funny, but I would think it was hilarious. Um, I, I don't hang out with May very often, but I, I love May. I wish that May was my friend. May's wonderful. May is terrific. The few times I'd like tolerate listening to Final Fantasy shit. I just oh, Final Fantasy makes me want to like claw my eyes out of my fucking head. Like I li like Im imagine like have you ever read the fucking you familiar with Oedipus Rex? No. Okay. Well, basically, he's uh, he's he's like a like, fucking. Oedipus, what? Oh well, if you pronounce it like that, I don't fucking know. His it's name like is Oedipus person. Rex. The Oedipus. No, you're joking right now. You're lying. Go to the YouTube lady who pronounces words. You're you're wrong. Also, I need to double check. Am I insane? You're... Is this name not Oedipus Rex? I I don't care about the you you dead ass are gonna go with Eodipus right now. Okay, that is his name. How do you spell it? What I I don't understand even spell the, how you spell it. Spell the first four Jit, letters. Jit. What do you call a foot doctor? Uh, foot doctor. What do you mean? <laughs> Face. Fuck. A planner I, doctor. Okay, I take it back. You've won. I, a foot doctor has <laughs> defeated me. I tried and failed like a fool. 
I walked right into your fucking trap, dude. Yes, please. <sighs> but yeah, no, um... Yeah, I'm familiar with their work. Yeah, so like his like when he bangs his mom, she like claws her own yeah. eyes out. That's how I feel. Like that's the urge that I get when they talk about Final Fantasy. It's just I need to claw <laughs> my own eyes out and die, you know. But and it's a game I would definitely play if I had no job or sleep requirement. Oh, I would just never play it ever. I if you like were th- if you threatened to put like a fucking like a bolt through my penis if I didn't play it. I'm like, ah, well, I guess we're, I'm I'm old Bolt Penis. It's me. (laughs) Call me Bolt Penis. Call me old BP. Senior Bolt Penis. This is a terrible podcast. This podcast is just (laughs) absolute dog shit. Pretty bad, It's a great start to season two. Just fucking terrible. Um, Everyone knows the second episode's better anyways. That's not true. Moving up from here, right? No, it's just, it's straight down. Like, my mental just completely fried. Anyways. um, Mental is only going to go up. Because no, I'm Jit, because you're going to abandon me again. Uh, <laughs> Nigel is incapable of caring for my mental, and it's just not going well. So, um, Aethel's too busy, Quotes is too busy. Everyone's just too busy. You know, no one can uproot their entire lives uh, to give me attention. It's insane. Anyways, um, we've been here for an hour now. It's yeah. been the end of the podcast. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and, and end it on some uh, on a happier note. May. Bam! Shoots himself. Sorry. Yeah, I just immediately <laughs> blows my brains out. Yeah, she's listening to this in the car, so like her heart's just racing right now. Yeah, she doesn't know if I'm dead or alive. After all the, <laughs> all of this, she doesn't see you just lounging in the chair. She's picturing you with the gun, like slowly being loaded. Yeah, so we'll end this on a good note. Yeah, let's look. We're gonna end this on a really good fun yeah. game. Fucking well, putting it in his mouth. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take one last trip to Flavor Town. <laughs> Unfortunately, the flavor is lit. <laughs> Anyways, May. May I love you, buddy. I wish we hung out more. We won't. For the record, I, I accept that we will not hang out more. I just like to let I wish we did. Um and uh have, have a good day.